Hey all, welcome to Share Trek. This is Raj here. It's 11th of October 2024 and we are looking at the pre-market action. Let's get started. Welcome back. We are looking at uh, indices which are all mildly red. Um, Dow, S&P, uh, Nasdaq futures is down 0.23% and oil is down 0.69%. Uh, and we have a few interesting headlines out here. Uh, the first one I would like to talk about is Tesla shares drop 6% in pre-market after cyber cab ro robo taxi reveal fails to impress. Uh, this $30,000 self-driving cyber cab uh, is again reminding me of how uh, Tesla started off. I had booked a $25,000 um, Tesla uh, by paying a thousand dollar advance and it stayed with Tesla for almost four years uh, until I realized that that particular car was never coming. Their uh, cheapest car was around forty thousand dollars or forty five thousand dollars in Canada. So there is always this history of uh, extra hype and uh, delivering something else. Um, also uh, Waymo is doing a way better job with robo taxis and um, four seats is better than two seats. So I think um, we'll, we'll see how the market reacts further during the day uh, because uh, this is not as impressive as one would have thought. The other headline I'm looking at is AMD launches AI chips to rival Nvidia's Blackwell. So initially the share prices went up and then they came back down again. Uh, AMD lost some value on that. Um, but I admire the fact that AMD is trying hard and I think on the PC side they would be able to do pretty well and I don't think Nvidia would want to uh, venture too much into the PC area because then it will attract the attention of the FTC. So I think that AMD is also good uh, in the long run and Nvidia will also be good. Uh, the dark horse here is uh, Intel. I don't know what Intel is going to do but uh, Intel needs to get its act together. So that said, we are looking forward to the next um, uh, rate cut. And I have uh, economic news out here in which at 8.30 a.m. we'll have PPI month over month, core PPI. Uh, and also at 10 a.m. we have the Michigan consumer sentiment. Plus we have the option expiries. Uh, those things can influence the market. And this is how the heat map looks like. Uh, yesterday's action saw energy and basic metals uh, materials um, getting a whole lot of uh, money and money has moved out of all the other sectors almost all of them and um, today we have to see if there is going to be any rotation happening uh, with that let us have a look at the Nasdaq futures which are looking negative Nasdaq future is down to 0.26 percent and we have uh, a support out here which is extremely strong in my opinion because uh, it's at 20,242.25 which is the horizontal support Support, and it is kind of uh, intermingling with the nine day exponential moving average, which is at 20,257.57. So there is a huge support out there. There's plenty of room on the RSI to move up. Momentum is above average, even though it is flat, and MACD is slightly bullish. So we still have a chance of going up further. And we have QQQ, which has got a resistance uh, at 495.96. And we have uh, the MACD, which is bullish. And we also have the momentum, which is above average, but flat. Uh, no clues out here what's going to happen with the market. Uh, mild negatives have been seen before and they turn into positive. So let's hope for the best today. We have PACB, uh, which is down 0.37% uh, as of yesterday's close. But this morning it has managed to go up 0.65% uh, in pre-market trades. There's a whole lot of consolidation and then there was a drop. So is this a consolidation at a lower level? Possibly because momentum is below average and dropping further and MACD is also bearish. We have IMTX, which has seen a huge drop. And this huge drop is not because of any product failure or anything. It's just that they have bought about $150 million worth of uh, uh, equity shares into the market. So it's the equity dilution to which the market is reacting. And uh, pre-market, they are up 1.12%. And then we have Bluebird Bio, uh, which is uh, up 3.21% in the morning. 
uh, in the pre-market trades. Ginkgo Bioworks has no trades pre-market. Prime is flat pre-market. Allogen has no trades pre-market. Iowa has no trades pre-market. And then we have Beam Therapeutics with no trades pre-market. Intelia is up 0.11% pre-market. Editas is up 0.68% pre-market. Editas has been dropping consistently. Uh, one of the subscribers has, uh, had asked how much will Editas drop. I think uh, there's a bottomless pit to which it can drop uh, because uh, we are in a difficult uh, market environment and uh, Editas still has to uh, show a lot of earnings. One good thing going, for, uh, going in its favor is the CRISPR patent. But for that to materialize, we need uh, some CRISPR-based therapies to get uh, FDA approval so that royalties can start flowing in. So watch out for any of the therapies that have uh, that have used CRISPR-Cas9 and are getting monetized. Then you have Alt Immune, which is up 5.15%. Uh, it has managed to break above the nine-day exponential. This is a huge jump, uh, but we still have a, a bearish MACD and a, a below average momentum which still needs to improve. Uh, Caribou Biosciences has no trades pre-market. CRISPR Therapeutics is up 0.46% pre-market. Again, staying above this horizontal support of 44.58. And then we have ArcG, which is down significantly. It's down 0.08% pre-market. And it was down yesterday. Uh, it had a gap down and we are trying to recover on that, but we are still not above yesterday's closing. So that has to happen first, but the MACD and the momentum do not indicate uh, the possibility of that happening. Uh, Grail is up 1.46% and just about managed to break above uh, the resistance, uh, which is out here uh, at 13.13. And Illumina is up uh, around 2.69% as of yesterday, but this morning it's down 0.15%. But I think that it has got plenty of juice to go above. Uh, somebody made a good deal this morning. I still think that uh, Illumina is on its way up to meet our cup and handle target of uh, 600 and sorry of 160 dollars uh, approximately. So that's what I am looking at. And Verve Therapeutics has got no trades pre-market. Next, let us look at our AI uh, stocks. Uh, Google. Uh, is up 0.05% and there's a whole lot of talk about DOJ breaking this up uh, and uh, the fact that it, that might also impact QQQ. Uh, so we have to wait and watch what's happening, but Google has not shown too much of weakness. I think the Justice Department decision was probably priced in uh, somewhere around 5th of August. And since then we are uh, just consolidating. And I think Google has done a lot on AI and it has got some really good uh, stuff going on. You notice the conversations I have uh, posted as podcasts called Quick Bites in our channel. They appear so natural and uh, they are based on information I fed uh, to the Google AI called Notebook LM. It's amazing. So I think uh, Google has the AI uh, game in its pocket and it's going to prevail in the long run. Uh, so I'm still bullish on Google. Tesla is down 6.05%. We already spoke about the robot taxi. Uh, and the question is how, how much lower can it fall? So the next support for it is at uh, 233.99, which is a horizontal support. And before that, it has got a, a support from the 100 day exponential moving average, uh, sorry, 50 day exponential moving average, uh, which happens to be at 231.63, which is this green line out here. If it breaks down below that, uh, then I think uh, the horizontal support comes into play. Uh, and uh, there seems to be a possibility that that might happen because MACD is bearish and momentum is just about average and ready to fall below. Uh, Apple is down 0.14%. Meta is up 0.19% pre-market. Amazon is up 0.8% pre-market. Microsoft is up 0.11% pre-market. AMD is up 0.58% pre-market after a huge fall yesterday. Palantir is unstoppable. It's up 0.11% in pre-market trades. FNGU is up uh, 2.31% as of yesterday, but this morning it is reflecting the weakness in the MAC7 and it's down 0.17% and it may fall further. Uh, Broadcom is down 0.29%. Uh, Oracle uh, is up 0.48%. Cloudflare was up significantly and it's been attributed to uh, the recruitment of um, a new president of product and engineering. 
the jump has been significant. So we'll have to see if there is any profit taking today. But we have seen a gain of 0.47% in pre-market trades. And then we have uh, applied materials down 0.62%, NVIDIA down 0.08%, uh, Qualcomm is down 0.19% in pre-market trades, SMCI is down 0.82%. ARM is up 0.21% in pre-market trade, ASML is down 0.40% in pre-market trades, Intel is struggling, it's down 0.43% in pre-market trades, and of course FNGD is reflecting the inverse of this and it's up 0.67% in pre-market trades, and semiconductor ETF is up 0.17% indicating that the semiconductor sector might fare better today. So that's the lay of the land today, my friends. That brings me to an end of this video and I'll be back to you with a, a separate video on S&P 500 and how it has performed in the past uh, with an idea to look at what it will do this October. With that, my friends, I'd like to bring this video to an end. Thanks and have a great day. Bye for now.